Israel's energy minister has met with the CEO of Abu Dhabi's renewable energy company to advance a trilateral project in which Jordan will supply solar energy to Israel and receive desalinated uh, water from Israel in return. Bastin Bori in Dubai, good evening to you. Uh, what is being discussed there? Uh, well, what's at stake uh, is the final stage of this pretty long-awaited uh, agreement. I don't know if you remember, but two years ago, almost to the day uh, when the Dubai Expo had just opened, we were already talking about it and we thought the agreement was going to be signed. Uh, today is the second time in two months that um, the Israeli energy minister has come to uh, Abu Dhabi to finalize the negotiations on how this solar power capacity will be distributed and how this Israeli uh, site that is going to provide uh, desalinated water to Jordan will operate. And, and what, what is in the works? Well, Israel and the UAE are the only two countries in the region so far that have acquired the capacity to invest massively in green technologies uh, while getting a net benefits in return, both financially and politically. That's why this uh, sort of uh, excludes uh, countries like Saudi Arabia. Uh, besides, Israel and the UAE have become compatible in almost every sector of the uh, economy. The environment is therefore one more opportunity to get closer to each other and to achieve uh, carbon neutrality, which is uh, common goal for both countries and which is you know the ability to um, not emit more carbon uh, than the atmosphere can absorb they will have to join forces and put pressure on Jordan um, solar energy food production supply chains uh, research and development and so on uh, for that Israel can rely on the UAE since Abu Dhabi is, is a key player uh, it is very energy intensive but it, it also has the world's largest solar power plants numerous carbon capture and storage facilities and so on. Right. And uh, how was that uh, happen behind the scenes? Well, all this is obviously uh, made possible by um, the Abraham Accords, but not only. Uh, we know for a fact that it's also helped across uh, the finish line by several uh, phone calls from the U.S. climate envoy uh, John Kerry to uh, Jordan's King Abdullah and Israeli Foreign Minister Elin Cohen. Uh, but again, not only, this partnership is also the result of secret talks between the three states, UAE, Israel, uh, Jordan, um, secret talks which grew increasingly serious in 2021 and even matured into a draft agreement. The first deals were initially said to be signed during the COP26 conference in Glasgow, so two years ago. Uh, King Abdullah was prepared to move ahead, but the Israeli Prime Minister um, asked to postpone the signing out of a concern that back then it would create, um, it would have generated uh, domestic criticism days before a critical vote on Israel's budget. So it was only a matter of time and planets alignment, uh, so to speak. Mm. Okay, Bastien Barin, Dubai. Thank you very much.